Good afternoon, this is Fire Engineer Mike Patterson from Engine 27B coming to you today from the Recruit Wildland Burn. I want to introduce a new piece of equipment that the fire department has just put into uh, some of the battalion chief vehicles and along with the wildland officer. We've got the Kestrel 3000 pocket weather meter. It's a tool that we're going to be able to use and put into effect for wildland fire behavior. As you know that the three main factors in fire behavior for wildland fires are fuel, weather and topography. The weather is something that's important to us because that's something that changes. So this is going to be a tool that the, although the battalion chiefs and the wildland officer carry, you may be called upon to use this and do weather readings for them. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the features that it has and its uh, operation and how it's used. Let's talk about the features. As you can see the weather meter is very small, it's compact and it's easy to use. What we've got is a cover that slides over the top of it. As far as some of the things it can do for us, we can measure wind speed, we can measure maximum wind speed, we can measure our temperature, our relative humidity, and a few other features that this device has. Once the device has been turned on, there's a display screen which will show an icon to the mode that you're in. Normally it will start in the wind speed. The propeller up the top reads your wind speed setting so you'll adjust it into the wind to get the most accurate reading. The arrows on either side will step through the current display modes to the additional display modes that it offers. All readings, once you turn it on, will be stored until the device has been turned off. So for instance, to take a weather reading, you can start by reading the wind speed, the device is turned on, use the arrows to step to make sure that you're in the current display indicating wind speed. Just hold the device into the wind. You can watch for a while until you get an accurate reading. And then you can step forward in the modes to read the rest of the settings, such as the maximum wind speed, the relative humidity, or the temperature. So those are just a few of the things that we have on this device that will be beneficial to us. The use of this device as a weather recording instrument is important to us for a couple reasons. As we talked about, we've got fire weather behavior which is one of the factors that influence wildland events. The first thing is wind. The reason that's important to us, fires can create their own wind, but they're also driven by the wind that goes on within the weather. Increased winds will increase the veracity of the fire. Changes in wind direction will change the direction the fire is going. So those are things that are important to us to know when we come on scene and monitor for changes during the event. The next thing is relative humidity. That's something that's important for us to know in the morning but also as we go on scene and as the scene progresses, we monitor that relative humidity. As it goes down during the day, the fuel moisture is going to dry out and our light flashy one hour fuels are going to become more volatile and burn quicker. And the last thing is our general temperature of the day. We know that as the temperature goes up, the fuels become preheated and once preheated, it's easier for the fuels to ignite in the first place and easier for fire to spread through that. So using a device like this, uh, even on a short-term incident, allows us to get a baseline reading of where our temperature, where our humidity, what our wind speeds are when the event begins and as the event progresses. So just a small device like this, we can use that to take our readings, track that during an event, and allows us to plan our strategy and our tactics to have a successful outcome. The Kestrel Pocket Meter is a very low maintenance device. It has, runs on a standard watch battery that may need to be replaced if the low battery icon shows in the display and it's located right on the back. And also the manufacturer recommends that it's calibrated once a year. You said you may be called upon to use it and provide that information to us on the scene of a wildland event. Thanks again and have a good day. It's a very important tool that we can use in the wildland firefighting uh, arena. It's... Uh, <laughs> One more time. It's a very important tool that the department has begun carrying. We do carry it on each battalion chief vehicle and the wildland officer. <laughs> That's easy to see. Ossifer. Ossifer. There he is.